Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received well wishes today at Rauda Palace on the occasion of the wedding of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's son, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Led by royal family members, speakers of the representatives and shura councils, ministers, senior officials, diplomatic figures and guests. The audience congratulated the wise leadership and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman on the occasion, wishing him a happy marital life. His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and his son on the occasion, wishing him a happy marriage. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the well-wishers for their noble feelings, wishing them all success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for their good sentiments, wishing them happiness and abundant health.
Today's Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Rifa Palace the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, who presented to His Royal Highness the GCC's Ministerial Committee for e Government, ahead of the Ministerial Committee's fifth meeting to be held in the Kingdom of Bahrain. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that such events add to the build-up of the GCC's capabilities, noting that Gulf cooperation in the field of information technology has become a necessity in the light of the IT revolution, which, despite its numerous positives, poses various security threats which must be avoided through Gulf technological integration. His Royal Highness the Premier warned that the region's security and stability is being targeted and that IT is a gateway to this targeting. But nevertheless, the Gulf Assembly will counter any threat and limit technology to its positive side to serve the stability of the region and accelerate progress. He also urged adapting information technology to further Gulf convergence and economic cooperation by facilitating trade to double GCC trade exchange. He wished the Ministerial Committee's meeting great success in serving the Gulf's IT collaboration. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received a telephone call from the Kingdom of Thailand's Prime Minister, Prayuth Chanacha. The two leaders reviewed the amicable ties between the two countries and a means of their enhancement, in light of shared interest in boosting cooperation. They also discussed the latest regional and international developments that require closer coordination by intensifying bilateral and multilateral meetings, particularly economic and security related challenges. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abicha bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, inaugurated today Art Bahrain Across Borders 2017 in the presence of a number of officials. Her Royal Highness affirmed the importance of integrating art and art exhibitions held in the kingdom into the national economy support system by promoting Bahrain as a sponsor for cultural tourism, stating that it will highlight the civilization of the kingdom and its prosperity and development in various fields under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. She highlighted the efforts of investing in art and providing a suitable environment to host major art events, urging to utilize modern technology to attract the youth in order to highlight their talents and ideas. Her Royal Highness hailed the creativity of Bahraini artists and the reflection of their art and culture in their work. Her Royal Highness then toured the exhibition.
With the participation of more than 60 artists from the Middle East, Europe, Asia and USA and a large number of Bahraini artists, Art Bahrain Across Borders, spearheaded by Tamkeen, opens its doors today until March 26th. The exhibition offers a unique blend between local, regional and international talents and serves as a contact point between art collectors and lovers. It's a great platform for Bahraini artists to display their art and their talent and there's a lot of it on show here and I encourage uh, everybody from the public to come and have a look uh, and, and uh, enjoy what's being displayed. The exhibition includes a number of masterpieces created by Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council of Women. An exclusive section comprising the artistic works of 36 Bahraini artists was a manifestation of Bahrain's cultural image, progress and prosperity. Culture that uh, is seeping through each one of them, uh, that is almost uh, being hidden in our day and age and in our society, getting more westernized. Major art showrooms and celebrity artists from all over the world presented contemporary masterpieces, dazzling paintings, various impressive pieces of arts, graphics and sculptures. They praised Bahrain's appreciation of the arts and encouragement of artists, making it the ideal destination to host this major art exhibition. I've been painting for about 20 years and my works are for me about color and energy and a lot of references to the studies that I did in the sciences and so they're just kind of an expression of what I think about and what I feel and it just gets translated onto the canvas. I feel everything's connected in this world so a lot of the different components relate to each other, the colors play off each other. We came straight away uh, to, uh, from Paris to Bahrain for the exhibition. It's called Galerie Charodeau uh, in the heart of Saint-Germain-des-Prés Rue Bonaparte, exactly, and uh, we are showing uh, S.H. Raza and M.F. Hussein, who are the most important Indian artists of today. My art is all about, uh, initially some of the stuff starts out with going inside, to, inside the person and painting their, their emotion and their soul, and then I grow into painting what is projected out in the energy. So my art is all about being, being in, internally a warm and welcoming person. The paintings are made by nature. There's different chemicals mixed together to make chemical reactions, which make the paintings look like fire or water or lava or the planet from space. I spend a lot of time with local people, the villages. Um, I like to find out what's authentic in the place where I am. So a lot of my work is about um, just what's going on on the street in, in Houston, what's going on um, in the cafe in Bahrain. Creativity and inspiration were reflected in every piece of art. The great mixture between cultures, exchange of expertise and convergence of ideas made Art Bab a true bridge between Bahrain and the world. Art speaks for words are unable to explain. Art Bahrain Across Borders is Bahrain's foremost contemporary art fair, attracting leading international galleries to the kingdom, powering the expansion of the art market and facilitating the development of local Bahraini artists. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdul Ghafoor. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Khalifa chaired today the Gulf Cooperation Council's fifth ministerial committee for e-government held in the Kingdom of Bahrain in the presence of the GCC Assistant Secretary General for Economic and Development Affairs Khalifa bin Said Al Abri. At the beginning of the meeting, the Interior Minister delivered the following speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Al-Lakwa ashab al-Maali wal-Saada hadoor al-Kiram. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يسعدني أن أرحب بكم جميعا في الاجتماع الخامس للجنة الوزارية للحكومة الإلكترونية بدول مجلس التعاون لدول الخليج العربية والذي يقام في بلدكم الثاني مملكة البحرين هذا الاجتماع الذي جاء ثمرة تضافر الجهود ونتيجة التعاون المستمر من أجل تطوير العمل الخليجي المشترك في مجال الحكومة الإلكترونية بما يحقق رؤى والطلعات أصحاب الجلالة والسمو قادة دول المجلس حفظهم الله ورعا ويطيب لي في هذا المقام الإشادة بإنجازات وجهود لجنتكم الموقع واللجنة التنفيذية للحكومة الإلكترونية بدول مجلس التعاون 
وحرصه على رفع توصياتها ومبادراتها القيمة إلى لجنتكم الوزارية الناقمة التي ساهمت في إطلاق استراتيجية الحكومة الإلكترونية الخليجية بشكلها المتكامل وعلى ضوء ذلك تم حتى اليوم تنفيذ سبع مبادرات مكنتنا من الانطلاق نحو برامج الحكومة الإلكترونية الخليجية في إطار مساعينا لتطوير المشاريع الإلكترونية المشتركة وتحسين الخدمات المقدمة لمواطني دول مجلس التعاون عبر مختلف المبادرات المشتركة بهدف تعزيز التعاون الفني والعمل المشترك بما يثري تبادل الخبرات على نحو إيجابي يدفع مسيرة العمل الخليجي نحو الأفضل بإذن الله تحقيقا للطلعات المواطنين وتلبية احتياجاتهم على الوجه الأكمل أصحاب المعالي والسعادة على الرغم من تنفيذ العديد من المبادرات المشتركة والتي مثلت أولوية المسارات الواردة في الاستراتيجية الاسترشادية للحكومة الإلكترونية فإنه لا يخفى عليكم ما تتعرض له منظومتنا الخليجية من هجمات إلكترونية بشكل مستمر وهذا ما يدعونا لتطوير أنظمتنا الإلكترونية لمواجهة تلك التحديات المتعلقة بالأمن الإلكتروني وبذل المزيد من الجهود من خلال التنسيق المستمر ما بين دول الخليج على مختلف الأصعدة وحماية أمن المعلومات واليوم نلمس من خلال اجتماعنا نتائج ما أسفرت عنه تلك الجهود من خلال اعتماد استراتيجية السلامة والأمن الإلكتروني لدول مجلس التعاون لدول الخليج العربية مع تأكيدنا على ضرورة استمرار التعاون وتنسيق الجهود مع الجهات الأمنية الأخرى للتصدي للجرائم الإلكترونية سيما وإنها أصبحت صناعة عالمية مستمرة في التصاعد وفي الختام يطيب لي مجددا أن نرحب بكم في مملكة البحرين متمنين لكم طيب الإقامة سائلا الله عز وجل أن يتوج جهودنا بالتوفيق وأن يسدد خطانا إلى ما فيه الخير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Al Abri delivered the Council Secretary General speech in which he affirmed that the Ministerial Committee has accomplished many outstanding achievements in the field of e-government while stressing the importance of e-government applications. He added that e-governance contributes to public sector productivity, improving performance and providing better services for citizens. He directed the committee to create joint electronic services. The Ministerial Committee members launched the Suspicious Internet Address Project which enables the GCC Computer Emergency Response Centers to monitor and track these addresses to prevent potential threats. During the meeting, the Ministerial Committee reviewed a number of topics regarding the development of joint Gulf work in the e-government field, establishing cooperation and coordination between ministries and concerned bodies.